All right, so once you have knit back and forth and you have your tiny little adorable heel flap, you are going to, you should be on a right side row, which means that the front side is facing you. <laughs> and you are going to slip that first stitch again and then knit all the way across until you have three stitches left on your left hand needle. So we have three stitches left on the left hand needle and now we are ready to begin our twin stitch, double stitch, shadow stitch, whatever you want to call it. So what we're going to do is you're going to do similar to when you're making a right leaning lifted increase. So you're going to kind of grab that back portion from the stitch below just to raise it up a little and you're actually going to pull a stitch through just like that. And you're actually going to put that on your left hand needle. So now you have two stitches coming out of this one stitch below here, just as though when we do the in lifted increase. So with that still there, we are now going to turn our work and start purling back across. And now we're going to do that exact same thing on the purl side. Okay, so we've just purled back across and we have three stitches on our left hand needle. So to do our double stitch on the purl side, you're just going to have that yarn in front. You're going to pick up this little purl bump because that's the stitch below. So with your yarn in front, pick up that purl bump and put it on the needle. So if you look carefully, you can now see that that's on the needle and you're going to purl into it and drop that back off the needle and put that stitch that you just made onto the left hand needle and turn your work. So now you have two stitches coming out of that one stitch below and now you're going to knit back across. So you're going to leave one unworked stitch between each of these double stitches. So you'll see it when we come back up to it on the knit side here. So you basically stop two stitches before the previous double stitch. So you can see that this stitch here is our previous double stitch. It has this little gray stitch in it and then it has this like beigey cream stitch in it. And there are two stitches to the right of it. And so you're going to leave that stitch that's right next to it unworked and we're going to put our next double stitch into this second stitch to it. So lifting that up, double stitch, just put that right up on the hook there, perfect. Turn, purl back and do the exact same thing on the purl side. Now we are two stitches away from our previous double stitch on the purl side. So there you can see our light, our darker gray one and then our lighter gray one. And then we have two stitches to the right of that. So. Like before on the knit side, we don't work that stitch directly next to it. And then we're just going to work into this purl bump below that stitch. So I uh, realized you can actually <laughs> leave your yarn on the back if that's easier while you pick up the stitch and put it on the needle. And then you're gonna br then you're gonna bring that yarn in front and purl into that stitch through the back loop. So don't lose your other stitch, oh fucker. Okay. 
So putting that stitch on the needle, bringing your yarn to the front, and now we're going to purl into that stitch that was below through the back loop, and then drop it off the needle without dropping the original stitch that's in there off the needle. And then we can just put that new stitch onto the left hand needle and turn it and work your way back across on the knit side. Okay, so you're just now gonna go back and forth doing those twin stitches on the knit and the purl side until you get to, until you get to your little stitch markers. So for some of you, that those last two twin stitches might be directly next to the markers. For others, it might be one stitch over. So in your pattern, it tells you how many sets of twin stitches you want on each side of the markers. And so you'll know that you've done the right number when you've done that number. <laughs> All right, I'll meet you back there. Now we are coming back to our final double stitch and you should be on the pearl side of your work finishing it. Now you're going to turn and you should be on the right side of your work. Now here's the fun part. We are going to knit all the way across every single stitch. Usually when you get to double stitches, after you've done short rows, you knit them together, but we are not doing that. So here we go, our first one. You're going to knit the one and knit the second one. Yay, every stitch we are knitting. Including that very last stitch. Turn your work. Now you're going to slip that first stitch and purl all the way across including every single double stitch stitch. And this is giving you a little bit extra room in your heel. All right, we've got our first double stitch on the purl side. You're gonna purl each one. And turn your work. And look, we have got a heel forming. Now we're going to slip that first stitch and knit to the very center stitches. Okay, so now you have knit to the center of your heel stitches and we are going to knit to one stitch inside the stitch markers. So you have one stitch left there, you're gonna slip it and move your stitch marker temporarily, slip it back. And now you're going to do a left-leaning decrease. So slip, slip, knit. You're only gonna have to move your stitch markers the one time. Put your stitch marker back, knit one, and turn your work. Then you're going to slip that first stitch back, move your marker, and you're going to purl to within one stitch inside the markers. Slip it just to move that marker. Slip it back and now you're going to purl those two stitches together. And put your marker back. And purl one. Perfect, turn your work. And now we're just gonna continue doing that same thing all the way across, back and forth, back and forth, until you get to the very end of the, on a right side row. So, slip one, knit across. When you get to one stitch before the gap, you always see where there's a gap, where you had last left off. So, when you get to that gap, you're going to slip, slip, knit. So, slip that stitch, slip that one, and knit them together. And that's going to close up that gap and then you're going to knit one more. Turn your work, slip one, purl to one before the gap. It can be a little bit harder to see on the purl side, but the gap is right there, and you are going to purl 
those two together. And then purl one. And turn. Never forget to purl or knit that extra one. You'll know if you've missed one because you won't have the same number of stitches before the gap on either side. So right now, here's the gap on the knit side. We have two stitches um, before you get to the marker. And now here, we also have two stitches. And there's gonna be a gap right here. So that's perfect. We know that we have knit that one. Slip, knit across. And just keep going in this manner until you get to your last decrease on the knit side. Some of the stitches will not have a knit one at the very, very end. Some of them will be decreasing with the very last stitch, and that's okay. Some of them will have a knit one at the end. We've taken a while, depending on how big your foot sock size that you're making is. <laughs> we are coming up to our last decrease. So we are just going to, for my size, there is no stitch after it. So we're just going to slip, slip, knit those together, and there are no stitches. <laughs>